What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your first AR app in Android Studio. Now, there's a few things you'll need before we start. The first obviously being Android Studio set up and installed. And if you don't already have that set up, I'll leave a link in the video's description for you to go and do that. The second is a phone running on Android Studio to test the app. And the third thing we'll go over as soon as we start creating our project. Also, make sure that developer mode is enabled in your phone so you'll be able to run the app. And with that being said, let's get right into it. So when you open up Android Studio, the first thing you're going to do is create an empty activity. And we'll just call this my first AR app. And the language we're going to select is Java. We'll do API level 28. That'll be fine. And we'll wait for this to go and build up. I'll drag this over here and full screen this. Now, the first thing that we need to do when we get in the app is go to the SDK manager up here. Um, just make sure you have these uh, versions installed over here. We're going to go to plugins and we're going to go to the marketplace. One thing we're going to download is scene form, Google scene form tools. And I already have this installed, but you're just going to go ahead and install that. Basically, the scene form allows us to render 3D objects without you having to learn anything about OpenGL. So we're going to download scene form and the next thing that we have to do right away is come over here to our Gradle scripts and project apps. Now we have to add a few dependencies here. I'm going to shrink this down. So what we're going to be adding right here is the implementation um, google.ar scene form UX scene form UX. So this basically just allows us to use the Google Scene Form UX. Now, when it comes to the version here, this 1.8 is not the latest version, but it seems that with this Snapchat filter app, that version 1.8 works the best. I think version 1.11 is out right now, so you can try that uh, if you want, but I'm just going to go with 1.8. And then we also need to make sure that the version of Java is... 1.8 as well so we're just going to add this we're going to say source compatibility equals 1.8 oops and we're also going to say target compatibility equals 1.8 1.8 okay so we're done with this and we're going to go right to our manifest next and what we have to add in our manifest is a few permissions so we're just going to say uses permission Android and actually we're going to say Android permission dot camera. Okay. And we have to end that with a closing brace. And the next thing we're going to do is say uses feature. And this will say Android name equals Android. Oops. Hardware dot camera dot oops dot ar okay and also we have to add one more thing here which is android required true okay and we have the closing brace we're done with that now we just have to add a little bit of metadata and we're going to add this right here and we're going to say metadata equals com dot google dot ar dot core and then we come here and say Android value equals required. Okay, now we're all set with this and we can just go ahead up here and actually we need a closing brace here and we can just say sync now. So now what we have to do is go over to our files that we have right here, which I'll leave a link down in the description. So uh, Foxbase X sfb we're just going to hit copy on this and we're going to go to our res folder and create a new android resource directory and change this um, little scroll bar to raw and we're going to say okay and inside of this new folder we're going to paste this and we're going to hit okay and we're going to take our other file the foxface mesh and we're going to copy this and paste it right into our drawable folder. Um, where's paste right here? Okay, and we just we'll click this uh, version for now. 
Okay, so we paste it there and we're all set to go with that. And now we need to come over here to our package and we're gonna create a new class and we'll call this custom AR fragment. Okay, so our custom AR fragment is going to say extends AR fragment and that will allow us to override a few methods that we need and we need the specific methods get session configuration and get session features and we also do need one more which is on create view okay so get inside of our get session configuration we have to say config config equals new config session and we're gonna say config dot set augmented face mode and inside of here we're gonna say config dot augmented face mode and meshed okay then we say this dot get ar scene view right here dot setup session and just pass in session and finally we just return config all right all done with that method now in get session features basically we have to just set the default camera to uh, the front facing camera so we'll just erase this and we'll say enum set of and inside of here we say session dot feature dot front camera and we'll just say all enter on enum set so we're all done with this method and finally on or in our on create we can just erase this and we're going to say frame layout frame layout equals and then we have to downcast here frame layout oops and here we say super dot on create view and inside of here we pass inflator container and saved instant state okay so we're done with that and i'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see the full line of code all right and then we just say get plane discovery controller dot hide and basically what these two lines of code that i'm writing here are doing is there's like a little hand a waving hand that comes up and kind of instructs you how to detect planes but we are not detecting planes in this application this is a like snapchat base filter app so we don't need to detect planes so we're gonna um, hide and set the instruction view to null and we return our frame layout okay so we're done with this class now and we have to go to our activity main which is in our layout or our activity main.xml and we can just go ahead and get rid of this text view right away and so what we're going to be making in here is a fragment and we're just going to say match parent here match parent here and then we're going to say id and our id is going to be ar fragment underneath we have one more thing the name and this is just going to say com.example and then whatever your package is and well what it's going to be the name of your app and then custom ar fragment so we're also with this and we have to add a closing brace here okay so we're all done with this and we have one class left to manipulate and it's our main activity class so let's go in here and start creating variables and we'll say model renderable model renderable we're gonna say private texture private texture texture okay and then we say private boolean is added equals false all right so inside of our on create now we have to create an instance of our custom ar fragment so to do that we're just going to say custom ar fragment equals and we're going to have to downcast here custom ar fragment get support fragment manager and inside of or actually no not inside of there we say find fragment by id and it's going to say r dot id dot uh what did we call it ar fragment right here okay so we're all set there and underneath here we're going to say model renderable oops we'll say model renderable dot builder dot set source and the context is going to be this and then we're going to say r dot raw dot foxface 
and we'll say dot build and then accept and inside of our then accept method we're going to say renderable and give the little pointing arrow which we can do in java 8 and right here we're going to say model renderable equals renderable and the next lines of code are going to say model renderable dot set shadow caster to false and basically what these two lines of or yeah these two lines of code are doing uh, is essentially hiding the shadows that will be cast if these two values were set to true and so we're going to set them to false because we don't want shadows cast all right so after this then we have texture dot builder and same thing we're going to say set source and it's going to say this r dot drawable dot fox face mesh texture and underneath this we're going to say build then accept and inside of our then accept method we are going to say texture and with a little arrow and then say this dot texture equals texture all right now uh, we have a few more lines of code to write and it's going to say custom ar fragment dot get ar scene view set camera stream priority and this is going to say renderable dot render priority first and then we're going to say custom fragment dot get ar scene view same thing except we're going to say get scene dot add on update listener okay but inside of the add on update listener this is where a majority of our code's going to go and take a drink of water real quick but uh, we're going to say frame time and we're going to say the little line again add the braces and now we go into an if statement and say if model renderable equals null then texture or or texture equals null um, actually, we don't even need that. Then we'll just simply return. And then we make an instance of frame and say custom AR fragment dot get AR scene view dot get AR frame. Okay, and we have to import our frame here, it looks like, with a simple alt enter. And we can finish this up by saying a few things. We're going to say collection augmented face and we have to all enter that and we'll say augmented faces equals frame dot get update trackable so we're basically just tracking the face and getting it and we're going to say augmented face dot class all right and then we have to loop we have to loop through the faces augmented faces uh actually it's just going to say augmented face augmented face inside of augmented faces and we'll say if is added equals true well we don't have to put equals true because just by putting that that means if it's set to true okay so we're returning if that is true and then we say augmented face node augmented face node equals new augmented face node and we're going to pass in our augmented face then we say augmented face node oops dot set parent custom ar fragment dot get ar scene view dot get scene okay that's all set and we have two more lines actually three more lines and we're all done so we say augmented face mode set face regions renderable okay uh, set face regions renderable and we pass in our model renderable augmented face known dot set face mesh, mesh texture and inside of here we pass our texture and finally we say is added equals true okay so we're all done with this application now all we have to do is test it and see if it works 
Um, as far as the next video, let me know if you guys want me to do the same thing, like I just write the lines of code and show you what you need to do, or if you want me to explain each line of code like how I do in my Android app tutorial series. I'm not really sure which you'd prefer, so be sure to leave down in the comments what you want for the next AR video that I make. And so let's test this app and see if it works. And we see that the app works just fine. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.